Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. Ever since completing two and a half months of Chambers of Zarek, I've been on the journey of using up all the supplies that I got from raids. Here's a look at the roadmap, and we're currently on the first step, which is basically freeing up as much space as possible for Giant Mole, because my looting bag is already overflowing as it is, so I'd like to minimize the useless junk I'll have in my inventory during Mole. I think we've pretty much freed up almost as much stuff as possible. I do have a bunch of stuff I have to drop over to the main, um, but I was looking at Hispori, and I think there's really one more item I could really easily clear out of here, and that would be the Wines of Zamrak. I wanted to save all these herbs just to use them up all at once, because from all the nests that we get from Giant Mole, we're going to be getting a lot of herb seeds, and these stacks will be going up even more because of that. But with the Dwarf Weeds, however many Wines of Zamrak I have here, that's how many I'll be making. I won't be going out of the way for Wines of Zamrak, so I may as well just use them up now to free up that spot. By the way, I'm going to be dropping the Plank Sack. Apparently it's good for Sepulchre, but I've never done Sepulchre, and I don't plan to do it for a long time. Um, I don't know like how useful exactly it is, but if it's really that useful, I can always come back and grind out a second one in the future. Okay, we've got an empty inventory now, so we'll collect from Arna, we'll grab out GP, Concape, Dwarf Weed, and the Wines. Okay, if I buy the exact amount of vials of water that I want, which is going to be 6217, I shouldn't accidentally be able to make too many unfinished potions, or I could just grab the exact amount of GP I need, which is about 1.2 mil, or a little bit over that, because I don't want to make all these into unfinished potions, just the ones I'm going to be using. It costs 200 GP for each unfinished potion that you want made, so 1.2 mil should be just the right amount, right? Well, I guess it only works for the noted vials of water, so I have like a few extra to make beyond just these. Looking back now, I guess I should have made the unfinished potions before I died again to Spori because now I'm going to have the dwarf reads in my inventory, but that's fine. I reset the herbal XP right when I finished raids because I want to see how much herbal XP I end up gaining in total, so I'm not going to reset this right now, um, but that was all the XP we just got from cleaning the herbs, and I guess we'll see how much XP we get today for making these ranging potions. Uh, we've currently got 94 herbal ore. We're going to get at least one level because we're only 200k to 95. Okay, there's some method I want to figure out. When you decant them into four dose potions, apparently it's instant. So I want to figure out, oh, there, there's something I could do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure it out. Okay, I figured this out and I'm really excited. Normally in the past I would always decant them to one dose, but if you want to decant them to one, two, or three dose potions, you have to drop two items on the ground for whatever reason. He says you're a bit short of inventory space, but if we go to four, you could see we don't need inventory space for that, and then we can go straight back to three and they're put into this noted stack right here. So doing this method where I turn them first into four dose and then three dose, it's pretty much instant and I don't have to drop the two items on the ground like you would normally have to do otherwise. Um, I found this out in the UIM Discord, shout out to Sanctum here who showed this method. So I'll just show you one more time how it goes. So I unnote my secondary, I don't have to drop anything, talk to Bob Barter four and then instantly talk to him again, put them into three dose, I don't need GP or anything. I could just run straight back here. I note the unfinished potions and then keep on going. This is so nice, dude. This is a beautiful, beautiful rare sight on the account in herb or level, level 90 freaking five, dude. Dude, this kid's actually so cringe. I was just talking to our group chat and then, shut up, dude. All right. You're so weird. By the way, if any of you were wondering how I got so many wines of Zamrak, I've been collecting them for a long time. Like, I think it's been well over a year that I've been holding on to a stack of wines of Zamorak, uh, mostly from KQ, and then also you get some more from like Serb and TOB, maybe like Clue Scrolls, but uh, I think the bulk of it has been from Calphite Queen. Oh, there's the four hour message. Dude, okay, you can call me a snitch if you want, but there's so many freaking bots at the GE just like spamming stuff and like trying to sell stuff or advertise different things. It's just like a constant flow of accounts doing this stuff here. Do people even read this stuff? Like what's even the point? Sorry, I don't spend a lot of time at the GE so all this is like pretty new to me. And five and a half hours of Herblor training later we have used up all the wines of Zamorak and holy crap dude we just flew through level 95. We're almost to 96 now even. Uh, 100k to go. We gained over a million Herblor XP in about five and a half hours. Oh yeah, I turned NC Hider on by the way because it's like easier to click on the banker that way. Okay, I'm going to log off and refresh now and we'll see if we got any records. All right, a very, very questionable flex. Uh, we got rank eight for the six hour Herblor record for UIM. Okay, let's decant all these potions into one dose. It's going to cost us 63k apparently. And then I want to grab out the range pots that we had in here from before as well. And let's do a price check and see how much my range pots are worth. Wait, is that it? Wait, are range pots like 200 GP each? I thought, I thought they were like a few K or something. 
Oh, <laughs> well, it's still gonna last a long time. Price doesn't matter for an Iron Man because as an Iron Man, one range pot is worth one range pot. And now for the last bit of free space that we're gonna free up from the looting bag before we go to Giant Mole, is all these items that I'm going to be dropping over to the main. We finished the first set of Ancestral on the UIM, which is stored away safely in the POH. UIMs cannot store duplicates in the POH like other accounts can, unless I got three Twisted Kits, one for each piece, but I don't have the gear for CMs, I've never done CMs, and I don't want to force my friends to have to hard carry me through like 250 CMs just to meet the drop rate for the Twisted Kits. I've also never owned Ancestral on my main before. The UIM was the first account I've ever equipped Ancestral on, and uh, I'm excited to have Ancestral Ancestral on the main. Not that I play the main at all, but for if slash when I ever do play it, I will have full Ancestral. This is also the first account I've ever owned or equipped a DHCB on. Um, I did drop the first DHCB over to the main and I'll be dropping the second one over right now. The ACB is just straight up better. ACB has plus five range accuracy and the ACB has one more distance you can attack from over the DHCB. The only places I could even use the DHCB would be for raids, which I'm already done with. So now it would just be for Slayer like Vorkath or Hydra. Um, both of which, if I were to do them, I would just use the lance, because I have that now, I don't have to go out of the way to make bolts. Because as a UIM, I can't just grab the bolts I already have out of the bank, I have to, like, you know, go an hour or a couple hours out of the way to make bolts for a task. So DHCB is getting dropped over, and then here's the dragon arrows, which I would use for my Tebow, if I had one, and some leftover cold I had after the blast furnace grind, I'm gonna drop it all over to the main now. Dude, look at this, like, seeing the pink text on the ground just looks wild. Alright, all this stuff has safely been transferred over to the main. Uh, I guess we could do a price check on here as well if any of you are curious of all this stuff that I dropped over. Uh, the value worth is about 200 mil. <laughs> Look at that, full ancestral on a normie account. Very impressive. All right, finally gearing up for mole now, taking care of the final remnants of the raids grind. Like I have to sell off all the runes that were in the trident from before, stuff like that, almost done. The reason why I'm doing giant mole is for bird's nests, because that's the secondary ingredient that we combine with toad flax to make cerebrews. As a UIM, there's no way to note bird's nests because you can't farm them, and two leprechauns only note things that you can farm. You can, however, exchange one mole part for one bird's nest nest, which essentially is noted, and you get on average 3 mole parts per mole, which means you get 3 nests per mole. We have about 8.5k toad flags to use, divided by 3 nests per mole, comes out to over 2800 giant mole. You could do birdhouse runs and keep like the unfinished potions, pestle and mortar, and the stack of brews in your inventory, and then make the potions as you go every 50 minutes doing a birdhouse run, but that would take a lot longer, and more importantly, we wouldn't get all the seeds that we're going to get from the nests that we get for mole. We'll get a bunch of herb seeds and we'll get the secondaries like the limpert seeds and the snape grass seeds, which means we won't have to thieve master farmers for hours and hours on end, or at least not too many hours, depending on how many seeds we end up getting. As for the gear setup, I did the DPS calc between Durox and the non Durox setup with like strength and prayer bonus, and they actually are about the same DPS, but Mole has a special mechanic where when it gets to half health, every hit you do on it has a 25% chance of causing it to dig, and you have to run around the map to find it. And because Durox is slow, but hits big, that makes it perfect for mole and would be better than the other setup. However, I'm choosing to not use it because you have to keep your health at one hit point, and I just really can't be bothered making sure my health stays at one hit point for like 80 hours of mole. Plus, I'm bound to mess up and die multiple times when doing that, which kind of defeats the purpose of using Durax to get maybe a few more mole kills per hour. Because if I die on the UIM, it kind of takes a lot of time to get my stuff back and reorganize the looting bag. So because of those reasons, I won't be using Durax, and this is going to make it way more chill because in this case, it's definitely going to be more of a marathon. Here's the DPS calcs I did. So on the left side right here, that's for the Lance, and the right side is with Dirox. You can see it's about the same DPS, about the same expected time per kill. You could like enter in super attack here as well, but it doesn't really make much of a difference anyways. I tried Void as well to see how that'd be compared to like the Torso and stuff, and it was pretty much the same as well, except I get less per bonus using that, so I won't be using Void. The Lance is more DPS than a Whip at Mole, because Mole is weak to stab, and the Lance is a very stabby boy. And Mole's highest defense is Crush, so that makes the Elder Mall just not worth using there whatsoever. It's only going to be in my inventory because I have no backspace to put it in there. Oh, there it is. The Infernal Axe has run out of charges. Yeah, I, I did kind of take a break to shop for a bit while I edit, but now I'm going to have to manually burn all the logs. I guess I kind of get more fire making XP overall anyways doing that. We'll get another Dragon Axe though once we go back to Slayer in a couple months and get another DK's task. Now the thing that's going to suck the most about doing Giant Mole is because I already got the pet, so it kind of feels like there's nothing to look forward to. Also, for some reason, these cap at 250, um, but we have 1,168 mole, 
on the pet was at 386 KC. I can show you the clip real quick. Oh my god. We just got the mole pet. But yeah, it just sucks that we have it already, so there's nothing to look forward to. And I just have this really strong feeling like I'm going to get like a second or maybe even a third mole pet along this grind. It's one out of 3k, and we have to do like 2,800 giant moles. So, I mean, statistically, there's a decent chance that we're going to get at least one dupe pet. All right, and I guess we're uh, all ready to start doing giant mole. I kind of just realized, I wonder if it's going to be hard to find a world, because this is probably going to be a really populated boss. Found the world, and uh, we have the Everlasting Fire here, so we don't need a light source. We have the Mole Locator from the Faldor Shield. Alright, there we go. First giant mole kill back, and we didn't get the... didn't... didn't... well... It's really, <laughs> there's nothing, so. One more thing I want to show is that we are starting off with the UIM Giant Mole Ranking of rank 146. Normally when I boss, I show the KC every 100 kills, but because Giant Mole is a lot faster of a boss, I'm probably only going to show every 500, especially because we're going to be here for so long. Um, but it looks like we just finished one trip, and that was like... 30 to 35 kills, 32 kills. Just slaughtering the baby mole's mama right in front of him. It's been like a year and a half since I got the pet though, so I really don't think the baby mole remembers who the real parent is. I'm your daddy now. Yeah, it's the first long bone of many, many more to come. Probably won't even turn them in unless they get two in one trip. Even then, I don't know. Don't talk to me or my child ever again. After this first session of Giant Mole, or I guess I could say first stream of Giant Mole, um, I have this plugin here called Bossing Info. It's also the plugin that shows you the timer for like any boss in the game if you want it. Uh, it's called Bossing Info and it keeps track of your kills per hour. So apparently I was getting over 36 kills per hour. Uh, and with Dirax previously, I was getting like 35 to 40 kills per hour. So it's about the same kills per hour as well, except this has been way more chill. Just not having to worry about keeping my health at one, just easily camping prayer, being able to one tick flick, which I wouldn't do if I was wearing Dirax. Um, granted, there is the idle time, so I don't know if that's taken into account here. So it could be more like 33 kills per hour, but it's pretty much close enough. Because like I said, if I die with Dirax, that kind of defeats the whole purpose. It kind of ruins like five or 10 hours of getting a couple more kills per hour anyways. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is that it would seem that I'm using about one dose of prayer pot per kill and I was kind of one tick flicking as well. Um, so we are going to be very low on prayer pots after giant mole. We should get a few ranar seeds from all the mole parts and I do have all these ranars from raids as well. We have 2.6k but yeah it kind of feels bad that we're going to be going through a lot of prayer pot from giant mole. That's the main thing I'm concerned about. I don't care about staminas. Also if I was using Dirox I think I would have two less inventory spots one for the locator orb and the other because I'd have to have the lance in my inventory. I could put the defender in the stash unit, but my looting bag is full, so that'd be two less spaces. And I'm already crowded enough as it is in my inventory. And there's 15, oh, nature talisman, 1500 KC at giant mole. I don't think I mentioned this in the video, but when I just started, like I was three kills in, and I was already like, dude, this is not going to be fun. And it really started to hit me, like, after a full day of doing Giant Mole, what felt like all day yesterday, I got 300 KC, and I have to do 2,800. So I'm thinking we'll split this into two parts. We'll end this video at, like, 2,500 KC. That'll be about halfway-ish. And then we'll finish up the rest of the mole in the next video. Like, the whole time, I knew it was going to take a while, like, 80-plus hours. But I don't know. It just didn't really hit me until after I actually started doing mole. There's a different item that I should have been wearing from the start, but I was just messing around with the DPS calculator, so I just realized this. But instead of wearing the fire cape, we should actually be using the arty cloak. It has a really nice stab bonus, and apparently it ends up being more DPS than the fire cape. And the fire cape only has a plus two prayer bonus, whereas the arty cloak has a plus six prayer bonus. So four more prayer bonus as well with this. As you know, my inventory is like packed nearly to the brim right now. My looting bag is full. I can't put any more items in there as much as I want to. I don't need like the sharks or the blowpipe or the elder mall, but I just can't put stuff in there. But I did find one more spot I can make in the inventory, which is the blood runes, kind of. I'm sell off all these death runes and the max cap of runes that you can keep in the rune pouch is 16k so i'm gonna sell off all these bloods until i get to like 15k or something because you get a few blood runes from giant mole all these blood runes are from doing raids and i originally wanted to hold on to them because i thought i would be using them for like bandos or zami which i am going to be using them there but i don't need to waste an inventory spot for like whatever 40k plus of them or whatever it was i do have a lot of money on the account i can always just buy more whenever i want so we're going to end here with 15k and it looks like we made is that like over 6 million GP? And just like that, we have now consolidated an inventory spot. Yeah, I guess it just doesn't really make sense to waste a spot when
when I can already store 16k in the rune pouch. I also want to keep track of the money I make specifically from mole and see how much we get by the end just from all the alcables. So I'm going to put all the money we just got from the blood runes into the LMS coffer. By the way, I used the dragon warhammer for the spec and I guess switching the cape is actually going to make the warhammer hit less often. By the way, before every trip I just pre-pot just like that. I take a sip of the super attack and then a sip of stamina and then run on in there. Oh, there it is. 450 million total XP. Looks so nice. How do you know what he's blocking your vision with is mud? I see. Oh, I don't think I've shown this in the videos yet, but with the Faldor shield, I can recharge prayer twice a day with the Elite Diary done. It restores it fully. And in 30 minutes, once it rolls over to midnight in game time, I can use it again. Looks like now I'm, I'm white knighting. Wait, bro. That looked like it just pooped on me. I'm, I'm white knighting. And there's 2,000 KC, a giant mole. Oh, no way. Hey, the KC just hit my birth year. There's the six hour log message. Okay, so we got a six hour record. We're about to get one, a giant mole here, which is kind of weird because apparently the last time I did the six hour record was exactly one year ago, 365 days ago, we got 231 kills a mole in six hours. And now it's going to be a very, very questionable, very strange, very odd flex. We're now at 239 kills. I didn't get a better rank, but I, I beat my own record. Haha. <laughs> Wait, that means I got more kills per hour with the Lance than what I did with uh, Dirax, because that's what I used last time a year ago when I was doing Mole. This person's been standing here for like five or ten minutes now, I guess just watching me or something. <laughs> oh wait, they just... <laughs> I, I didn't know what they were saying. I thought they were like, can you leave? I thought that's what they were asking, so I just said no. Apparently they were asking what KC I, I got the pet though. <laughs> Dude, they always have the anti-dragon shield here. I don't understand that. I guess the, the green dragon killers have moved over to Mole now. I think this should answer all the questions they have. Yeah, dude, could you imagine using dragon-related gear on giant Mole? <laughs> Freaking idiot. Oh, this boss drops elite clues. Wait, I totally forgot about that. It is one in 500 for an elite clue. So we went a little bit dry for it, but we got one. And we have the elite caskets. Oh, apparently we have that. Oh, but look at all the oak planks though. We could finally go do some mahogany home. Oh, wait, it was new. How come it didn't pop up for the collection log thing? Look at that, that's freaking sick. We got a new item. It's so rare to get uniques from elites. It's always so exciting. I'm gonna check the collection log because I'm confused. Oh, it actually was the first one. Hmm. Oh, this thing somehow got set to off for some reason. Dude, literally every single day I've been streaming mole, probably about every five minutes someone makes that joke, and it's literally the funniest joke I've ever heard in my life. I'm using the mole hunter lance instead of the elder mole. <clears throat> You know, I've been killing so much giant mole that some people might even call me a molderer. But yeah, God, dude, that's the worst when people repeat jokes over and over. Oh, God, I can't imagine ever repeating a joke. That is 2.5k giant mole KC, and with that, it is time to wrap up the video. Since we started, we have done 1,332 giant mole, and that's taken me about 40 hours so far, and we're not even halfway there because we need 8.5k mole parts, and we're currently at about 4k, so we're almost halfway there. Next video, we will be continuing on with the giant mole, getting to 8.5k parts, and then that way we can use up all the toad flax, and then we'll get a bunch of seeds from those nests, and then from there we can continue on with the journey. With that said though, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great great day, and I will see you again next time.